Hello Internet, I'm AK. In my last video I prospected for gold at the river. I spent only 3 hours at the river and found 50 milligrams of gold. It's not bad. And you know what? I think when I panning I lost some gold. Because the gold dust was very fine. It was dusty gold. I believe the biggest size of gold was 50 mesh. 50, 100. And today I had an idea to collect another bucket of sand from the same spot and try to extract gold from the sand with acids. With this method I will not lose anything, anything at all. 1000 mesh, size 2000, I will extract everything. So I collected a full bucket of sand from the same place where I was prospecting in my last video, in my previous, in my previous video. Collected sand from my sluice, all the sand from sluice. I washed this sand very carefully, I don't want to lose any gold. And this sand a lot of magnetite, black sand. So first I will dissolve all the magnetite. To dissolve magnetite I will use an electrolyte with nitric acid. 400 milliliters of electrolyte. Send from send from my sluice. And little by little I will add nitric acid. Three milliliters. Another three milliliters. And more. Nine milliliters to start. I think after three, four hours, the magnetite will dissolve. Three hours have passed, the black sand has dissolved and now I need to wash the sand well. The sand is clean and look at the bottom, oh my god, there is a lot of very fine yellow metal, gold, nice. I like it. <laughs> now I will dissolve all this gold in aqua regia. To prepare aqua regia I need 300 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and 100 milliliters of nitric acid and I will wait uh, Five minutes. Okay, my aqua regia is ready. Now send. I think someone will ask, why you use a flask? <laughs> because it's very easy to mix material in the flask. So simple. Aqua Regia eating gold. Very good reaction. So everything has dissolved. 
now I'm going to filter the solution. All gold should be in, in this solution now. Just sent. And here's my solution with gold. There is a lot of solution. 750 milliliters. It's too much actually. So I want to evaporate the solution with 750 milliliters. It's too much. I need only 200 milliliters. Easy work if you have uh, less of solution. When you operate an extra water from the solution, it's very important not to boil the solution. The temperature should be around 94, 96 degrees Celsius or 202, 204 Fahrenheit. Oh, fox near my house. Hey, Lisa. I completely evaporated the solution. Only metal salts at the bottom. Here now no any nitric acid. It's very good actually. Now I'm going to dissolve metal salts in very hot clean water. 100 milliliters of hot water. It'll be melt very easy. Ready? Very clean solution, crystal clear. To precipitate gold from solution I will use iron sulfate. I always using iron sulfate. And I making iron sulfate always myself. It's not from store. Now I will wait two or three hours till the gold is completely precipitated. I left the solution overnight and now all the gold is at the bottom. So now I will boil my gold in water, in clean water. Then I will boil the gold in nitric acid to remove the iron sulfate from the gold powder. Gold. Pure dry gold powder. Beautiful color. Nice. Just I need to melt it.
and here is the result of my experiment. The purest gold from the creek. This is natural gold, 24K, 100%. Inside of this nugget, no any copper, brass, nothing. Just pure gold. Seven hundred forty six milligrams of pure gold. I was able to get all the microscopic gold out of the sand. I think that I got most of the gold from black sand from magnetite. I dissolved all magnetite and I believe most of my gold from magnetite from black sand. Gorgeous gold, beautiful gold. A penny and I got 53 milligrams of flower gold and I got 40 times more gold by using acids. So guys, what do you think of all of this? <clears throat> Thank you for watching my experiment. This will conclude the video. Пока-пока.